Hey everyone and welcome back to another Helium Hub video. Today we are going to discuss the recent fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the Helium network right now and we're going to go over the Lime and the Salesforce partnership drama. First, I do want to congratulate the winner of last video's $25 Rockland gift card and that was Congrats, and also keep in mind everyone that since I haven't uploaded in a while, on the last video I had very few comments. So if you're feeling lucky, drop a comment below right now and get entered into this video's giveaway. All you need to do is like the video, be a subscriber, be a subscriber, and drop a comment uh, down in the description what you would spend and use the $25 Rockland gift card on, and I will announce the winner in next video. I do these giveaways every video, so make sure to subscribe and keep dropping comics every video to enter. Make sure to check Rockland out. They are my go-to helium supplier for all my antennas, bandpass filters, and right now they even offer hotspots, so um, they have really great reviews and they're a very well-known company in the helium manufacturing space. So. Definitely go check them out, and if you do decide to buy anything, make sure to use my link down in the description below, and use my code as well to get an additional 5% off. Okay everyone, so let's dive right into the topic of this video, and that is that the sediment for the Helium Network is not the best right now, and I will always be Team Helium, um, but that doesn't mean that they haven't made mistakes and have taken a few, step back, few steps back. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of people posting their dissatisfaction with the Helium Network right now. Many people are upset with the low earnings and are also not happy that the partnerships with two of Helium's biggest companies seem to be less than what Helium was making the, the partnerships out to be. Of course, I'm talking about the companies Lime and Salesforce. Helium's partnership with Lime even got mentioned in the New York Times article on Helium where it specifically says, anyone can use the Helium Network. Although most of its users so far are companies like Lime, which has used Helium to keep tabs on its connected scooters, wrote Rose. It's a real product used by real people and companies every day. However, just recently, a very critical article was posted on Mashable.com criticizing Helium for playing up their partnership because Lime did an interview with Mashable and they said on the interview that that partnership never really existed, the article reads. Beyond an initial test of its product in 2019, Lime, Lime has not had and does not currently have a relationship with Helium, Lime's Senior Director for Corporate Communications, Ruffle Murphy, said to Mashable. Helium has been making this claim for years and has been a false claim, Murphy said. Now, however, Mashable has learned that Lime is preparing to send a cease and desist letter over to Helium over its use of Lime's name and logo on their website and in its marketing. So where is the miscommunication? Well, it seems as though one of Helium's founders, Amir Halim, was in close contact with the former central operations manager, Eddie Lee for Lime, and Helium did try to build a tracker for the scooter. However, it did not catch Lee's eye. The article reads, Lee said, dude, that is too big. We cannot use that on the scooter, Mung recalled Lee saying. Monk said that by the time Helium was able to get a device small enough to fit the scooter, Helium had no longer a contact with Lime and Lee had already exited the company. It seems like there was a relationship there, but definitely nothing to warrant saying the companies were ever partners. In a post on June 2019, Amir categorized Lime as a partner and October 5th, 2020, Amir would tweet again in regards to their partnership. And now we're finding out in 2022, late 2022, literally years um, after their brief communication with Lime, now we're figuring out that they never really were partners at all. And also that Salesforce, uh, that company is also out. So that's a big blow and it feels like we took a few steps back. Uh, and at least for me so far, Helium's been very transparent and I've never gotten a bad feeling from them. Um, but now that this happened, it makes me take a step back and say, huh, what else might they not be entirely truthful about? As I said, I'm always gonna be Team Helium. I got in very early. I will always be Team Helium, but I'm not gonna lie, this definitely left a very bad taste in my mouth. So those are my thoughts, everyone. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Does this change your sentiment on Helium? Is it gonna die? Um, is it gonna thrive? Or is it gonna be kind of somewhere in between? Let me know in the comments, and if you do, 
you will be entered into this video's $25 Rockland gift card giveaway. So make sure to tune into the next video to see if you won. All right, guys, so that is it for me. Hopefully this sheds some light on the topic that sometimes is not always the funnest to talk about, especially when you're really rooting for a project like Helium and you really believe in it. But life moves on and I think everything will be just fine. As always, everyone, I appreciate everyone showing support. It really means so much to me. I recently just hit 3,000 subscribers, so it just means so much to me. Thanks so much for stopping by. And as always, I will see you on the next Helium Hub video. Take care.